more time. We are going to meet up here live on the YouTube. It is Insane Pain. I am Insane Pain, and I am going to be your art teacher today, and I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about perspective. Okay, so there's going to be a few things we're going to work on that we're going to need. One, we're going to need a pencil, a ruler, and some paper. All right, so this is just going to be our practice, how we're just going to try and put a bunch of boxes on here, maybe do some cutouts, do a few things like that. Uh, if you want, you can work ahead or you can work with me. Uh, I recommend that if you haven't done this before, that you just kind of like watch it a little bit and play around a little. Uh, if, if you need to, just pause the video. That'd be okay. All right, but that's why I put these videos out there so you can always go back and, you know, revisit them. Okay, so let's get started. All right. So this is one point perspective. So uh, that means there's only going to be one vanishing point. Now it's not necessary, but I kind of like to have a horizon line. And that's kind of where the sky meets the ground. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that line right there, just so that we could see that nice and easy, okay? Now, if I need to, I can erase. I've got somewhat of an eraser on this thing. Usually I have better erasers, uh, like right here got a pretty good one so if I need to I'll do a little bit of erasing but I think this is just kind of practice so I'm not that concerned if you make mistakes that's all right we like I always say turn that mistake into a masterpiece okay so vanishing point I'm gonna be super simple and I'm gonna put it dead center in the middle right here boom nice and easy so all my perspective lines are going to vanish off into that vanishing point so I'm gonna start over here and I'm just gonna make a box Let's make it easy for ourselves and just make just a real simple box. It's, uh, it could be a square or a rectangle. It's not that intense. I'm just going to do it kind of the width of the ruler, okay? So that way it's kind of real simple. If I need to, I can go in and I can erase some of this. That's fine. There we go. Now, I got this great box here. But all these lines, I want to make this thing disappear into the back. So what I'm going to do, if I could take this box and stretch it, it would shrink as it goes to the back because it's going to be getting smaller. So what I'm going to do, probably not draw, draw too heavily because I'm going to want to erase this, is I'm going to want to do some line work going back like this, hit all my corners except one set of corners. Anybody know why I wouldn't do this corner right here? If you said because this is a solid object and you wouldn't see it going back, you were absolutely correct. So, now I need to chop this thing off here and roughly around here. So I do one side first. Once I do one side, that's gonna kinda give me my point to do the top part. So I'm gonna start here. And remember, we're doing perspective. If you're just sketching around your sketchbook, don't worry about it, about using a ruler and all, but I try to get everyone to start getting real comfortable with these tools. So I've got this line here. Now I'm going to start with that point right there where that line has touched. And I'm going to need to make sure that this is parallel to this. So I'm going to put my pencil down so that way you can all see that this line is pretty much parallel to this one. If not, look what happens. That line's going to look really, really strange. It's going to just not look very good at all. So we're going to go ahead and drop that in. Try to get that the best that I can. Remember, it's still a sketch. Boom. And I might want to erase some of this stuff. It's all right. I might use my quick eraser here. All right. Oh, I made one box. One box. Well, that's... Nothing to write home about other than uh, it's kind of cool that I actually created a three-dimensional looking object. I basically simulated form in a 2D environment. Let's go ahead and drop another one in. I'm going to make this one a little stranger. Let's make this, oh, I know. Let's go above the horizon line. So if you're looking at the horizon line, all of your lines that are coming from here, anything that's below the horizon line, they're going to go up to the vanishing point. So if I do a square up here, and I put those perspective lines on there, they're going to be going down to the vanishing point, down to it, instead of actually going 
up because they all have to go to this vanishing point. Remember, this is the vanishing point where everything has to go to. And again, we're going to hit those three lines. We don't need that one on the far side because this is a solid object. And there we go. And there we go. All right, so now I've created uh, this other square. And again, I'm going to find one side. Pick one side and stick to that. This right here is what I want to cut off. And if I want to make it really, really long, I can. But right now, we're just going to practice. So do one first. Then you're going to go in and fix that other part. So I got that point right there. That's where it stops and touches this line. So that is going to have to go this way. But it's got to be parallel to the other line. So I'm using the pencil right there again as kind of a little guide to help you with that, to see that. So line going across and boom. There we go. Nice little erase. So remember, when you start working on your final drawings and stuff, make sure you're drawing really, really light. Draw light till you get it right. But this way, this will, you know, if you make some mistakes and go too heavy to start with, don't, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. All right, so now I'm going to add another one over here. So I'm going to just drop in a quick line. I'm going to have this one go above and below the horizon line. I could do that. I have that power. It's my drawing. It's my universe. All right, so here we go. And I'm going to make this box a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger than anticipated. Now, if I wanted to keep this line, the horizon line going through that box, I could. But right now, I don't really want that, so I'm just going to kind of get rid of that. So, bam, I've just got a big, well, big, kind of a big rectangle. Now, so this line is going to go to the vanishing point, right? This above the horizon line is going to go down to the vanishing point. But what about this here? This is a solid piece. You're not going to be able to see it going through that. Now, if it was a big glass, like if you want to make a glass universe or a bunch of glass boxes, you would see all those things going through it. But right now, we're just going to practice with just solid objects. So point, and make sure you're using that ruler on from point A to point B. Always make sure your ruler is locked in. It should go between two points. Here we go. Boom. And now I'm going to put one more line right here just to chop this thing off. Now, I've got three boxes. If I accidentally erase too much of my horizon lines, you know, I can always put it back in. It's okay. But now look, three boxes. That was super fast. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fill this whole page with boxes. But I want to show you one more little trick. That's kind of fun. So if you want to like carve into or cut into these things. So I'm going to actually chop into this one. So if I could have like a little spaceship or something go flying right into that box. And watch what I do here. Very, very close. I'm just going to make some lines. Like so. And then now I'm going to have to use this vanishing point for that, right? Because this is part of this as well. So vanishing point, vanishing point. And now um, it looks like I've just got a flat, you know, shape on there. But here's where, here's where the trick comes in. I need to go into this box. So I'm going to use a horizontal line that is parallel to the horizon line. And there I go. If I wanted to, I could have some fun and I could do a little bit of shading in there. I like to shade sometimes. A little bit of shading. Add a little value in there so it pops out some. But it just kind of helps whenever you're trying to get some of these shapes all built in. There we go. So now what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to start adding some more boxes you're going to want to fill this page up 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll just do a speed up on it so everyone can see the kind of final product, okay? So here we go. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I've got a few boxes, added two extra boxes, where uh, they're actually underneath something, which that does create a little confusion at times. And you might make a few mistakes. Remember, turn those mistakes into masterpiece. And don't beat yourself up over it because it's just a sketch. It's just for fun. We're just learning. So as you're working, I'm having to realize where it might go. And sometimes... Sometimes I have to stop and figure parts out and go, wait a second, I got too much stuff going on there and I kind of got lost. It does happen. It does happen. It happens all the time. But I'm going to go ahead and show you a few things here. I want to cut something out into this one. So this little box right here, the front of this thing, I'm going to cut something out right along here. Now when I'm working on a front surface, any surface that I'm adding an extra part to, you follow the rules of that surface, okay? So we've got the front, we've got the top, we've got the left side. So as I'm working on this front, like when I worked on the right side here, I had to use the right side's part, all the rules for that shape. Here I'm working on the very front, so I just basically took this and squeezed it down a little bit, and now I'm going to push this back just a little. Not too much, and let's see. Oh, that one's not going to show anything. That one won't show anything. That one won't show anything. So I can just finish this thing off right here. Bam. It looks a little sloppy there, but that's okay. Remember, it's just a sketch. We're going to have some fun with this. Go ahead and do a little bit of shading. Sometimes the shading kind of adding a little value, pushing a little contrast on there kind of helps kind of alleviate little bit and then you're like okay cool I'll get a little break from it it kind of helps you get ready for the next part here we go BAM there we go and now oh I've, I've still got a lot of paper here I can do stuff on so I'm gonna speed it up again while I try to finish in a lot of these parts okay so here we go All right, so we're going to stop here for a second, and I'm going to show a quick little thing that I forgot to mention. If I'm trying to have this box right here actually go behind this, I couldn't see where this little part was, where that corner is, because that's got to shoot all the way back here. So I had to draw that in just a little bit, but notice I drew very, very light. And now I can keep adding my chop-offs and all that. like so and now I'm gonna want to erase this because I want to make sure this box is in front or actually on top of this one okay so periodically go through and erase some of your uh, lines of perspective some of your diagonal lines going back to the vanishing point because it will help you clean it up all right so I'm gonna do a quick snap and that way you guys can see the finished product all right one two three okay so here we have the completed drawing I shaded it out a little bit did some things there here and there I might do a little bit more just cleaning it up but now you've kind of seen the basics of doing one point perspective and we're gonna fill up an entire page with boxes overlapping have a, at least four that have cutouts in them different sides so that way you've got practice for the city all right so at this point, I'm going to let you guys uh, keep the videos going. Uh, tomorrow, you can work on this on your own. That's fine. Uh, but hey, as we're working on this, um, just remember, let's get creative.